This video is brought to you by Diamond Pacific Tool Corporation. Diamond Pacific is America's favorite diamond tool, wheel, and lapidary machine manufacturers. For nearly half a century, Diamond Pacific has set the industry standard for diamond lapidary equipment. Join the majority of professional lapidaries and choose Diamond Pacific products such as their Nova Wheels, Pixie, Genie, and Titan Gem Makers, as well as their wide selection of other high quality lapidary diamond products. Check out Diamond Pacific today and find out why they're considered America's premier diamond lapidary tool manufacturers. Alrighty. Two big, heavy, large flat rate boxes. Oh, from Wisconsin. Fire agates from the Guzman family. Uh, the story is that Mr. Guzman's grandfather was the gentleman who discovered fire agates in Mexico. At least in Aguas Calientes. And we've sold them before here on the channel. We've talked about them. There's a great video where Sweet Jim shows a bit of his process, which isn't, you know, the most, like... It's not like the only way to do it with the contour carving and stuff. Um, in that video, he shows off mostly affordable tools. He talks a little bit about some of the higher end stuff like Dye and Shine, but the AZ Dent video is pretty good. Check it out. I'll try to remember to leave it up there where you can find it otherwise. Um, yeah, there's Fire Agate Mark. That was a great, great, great YouTube channel on how to cut these and how to grade these and all that kind of stuff. But it is a pleasure to be working with the Guzmans once again with this stuff. I'm only going to have this until September. Then I'm taking it back to Mr. Guzman at the um, yep Denver Gym and Mineral Show. So there's a few different grades, um, pretty much like $4 to $40. Some pieces are obviously catered towards contour carving, and some are uh, definitely better for making cabochons. So when you shop with me, you know, I will ask, you know, hey, do you want the pieces um, catered towards cabbing or carving? Because not everybody contour carves and not everybody uses cabbing machines. And they are two different, like, different techniques for working this material. Like this piece right here, I would absolutely contour carve this one. This would look fabulous. Mm -hmm. uh, contour carved work in there. Kind of work that out a little bit. Very, very cool. And there was a great example of a cabber. Here's a good cabber. Uh, where it could be carved, I would probably just keep it rounded and cab it as is. Let's see if I can find another camera. Oh, here's another good carver. This one is actually pretty spectacular. This one is actually super amazing. Tons of potential. Anyway, <clears throat> um, yeah, I don't want to just scoop these out. I want to get them into the right hands of folks that are going to work them the way that you want to work them uh yeah during the live shows there will be no minimum purchase um if you folks want to reach out uh, i'll probably set a minimum purchase if outside of live shows and there's rough and then there's windows let's crack open the window box I'm going to have to order myself some new burrs. The easy part is um, the grinding, right, with a metal burr. For me, the easy part is the polishing. So I never actually, like, chased color in these. Mostly just cab them and such. Let me see if I can find some windowed pieces. Those are unpolished. Oh, 
person. <clears throat> Here's some window pieces. Some of these have just kind of been tumbling around with each other. Like I can hit that with cerium really quick and get that to a nice liquid luster again. And believe it or not, it's not like these are more expensive for the quality just because they're polished. It's just Mr. Guzman, you know, is offering different stuff for different folks. Some people don't want rough stones. You know, they want to be able to look at it. And then uh, some jewelers could easily just chop that and set that. You know what I mean? Mr. Guzman's not a contour carver. He, uh... He actually does all this on a wheel. And speed is the name of the game. Um, a lot of these windowed pieces I do highly suggest for folks that want to cut. You can kind of see in there, like this one right here, this would be a great piece to contour carve, even though it's already slightly polished. You get to see a lot of what's in there. Um, yeah, a lot of cuts said in the violets pretty much on the bottom, but it would also be good for someone who just wants it as is. Good specimen. No rhyme or reason to the cut. I think it's uh, just get the fire, shine the fire. Do you, do you like fire agates, Lenny? Are you asking me? Yes. And they're just just little rubs. You can see there that looks like um, 220 that he never got out. Same with uh, that spot. It's a good way to show what's already in there. Mm -hmm. This one undoubtedly would be a good contour carved piece. Just really get right in there in between those. Oh yeah. So tomorrow we're going to Rubens for Lynn's birthday party. Happy birthday. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I'll gonna be live music. You're gonna film it? No. No? Okay. Probably not. Um yeah, if he has the AZ dempers, I'll grab them. And we'll contour grab a piece of this. And uh, we're definitely going to have a piece. And after I get these boxes all sorted out, we'll take a look at the different price points. It's a little late right now, and you really got to have the... Uh, you got to have the sunlight to really see everything. Artificial light's not the best for the stuff. Alright, so these are the AZ Dent burrs. Oh, they're really good. Rubberized zirconia porcelain. Uh, I don't know if it's zircon or if it's diamond, but they work really good. Um, yeah, there's no advertised mesh, but this five pack used to be 55 bucks. I don't know if it went up by a little bit. I think it did, but it's still super affordable. And is um, Sweet Jim's tried and true way of polishing um, fire agates on a budget. I'm going to go ahead and work a piece. Um, you're probably going to fast forward the actual grinding part. And the grinding part is kind of the no brain part, right? You're just digging through this eight with an, you're digging through the fire agate with an 80 grit burr, you're going to get through the agate. Um, approaching color bands, layers of color. Not really hitting them. 
but getting close and then letting these burrs kind of do the rest of that. Um, you almost don't need the most aggressive one. These lids here are like fine to coarse, coarse to fine. They're not on the right burrs, but the red one I believe is the, is the rough one. You kind of don't need it. Um, the second roughest one will remove 80 grit scratches. You can help out your piece a little bit more when you get better by like going from 80 to 240 grit or 120, then to 600 hard diamond burrs before swapping over to these polishing burrs. And that will really help with like the faceting of the stones. Like if it gets a bunch of facets from your 80 grit burrs and stuff, all of that can be learned from people like uh, Coleco, Mining America, and Fire Agate Mark, and other people out there. I just really wanted to show you folks um, in this fire agate video that it can be really easy and it can be affordable. We were talking about how um, some of the pieces are catered to the contour carving and some of them are catered to cabochons. This one here would be a great cabochon piece. A lot of fire on saginetic sprays. Um, well, not a lot of fire. This is like a $4 piece, but real tiny bots and contour carving wouldn't really serve this. Chasing those little bit of fire, pieces of fire, this would be better to just like make a nice oval cab and call it a day. Where a piece like this really would be served into contour carving because um, under this spot right here, you can see there's fire, quite lovely fire, like teals and golds and yellows underneath that. And then there's a fabulous piece of saginetic spray right there that you'd really want to keep if you're into that kind of stuff. And with a just traditional lapidary, we're really going to wipe that out. So I'm going to dig around, see if I can just get through this spot right there to get some get the color to come down just a little bit more then i'm going to polish it again i'm going to fast forward the hard bit stuff because that's a no-brain but then we're going to do the polishing um in real time just to show you how easy it is again uh az dent five piece burr they were about 55 bucks for all five of them not for one for all five i'll try to leave a link i think it's only ebay um totally worth it uh, I wouldn't even be doing this fire agate video or working with the Guzman family if uh, Sweet Jim didn't introduce these to me because these are a game changer for the entry level fire agate carver. It used to just be so intimidating to me. It's, I was like, no, that's just what real artists do. And now, because of these, uh, I really feel like the, the hobby can be for everybody. Anyway, let's do it. I forgot to mention, I am using one of the old discontinued Harbor Freight flex shafts. Um, yeah, these were like 44 bucks with a coupon. Um, yeah, these green plastic things with the plastic foot pedal. Uh, Sweet Jim had Fordhams and stuff, but he had like four of these in the shop at all times. Uh, it works great, and when they die, it's not too much of a burden, you know? Um, to my knowledge, they're all out of all Harbor Freights. If There might still be a few floating around your local Harbor Freight. If you see them, they come in a red box. Get them if you can. If not, there are generics on Amazon and eBay for like the same price, and they're actually made out of metal. I'm not saying that's better or worse. But um, yeah, you can do this on a cheap flex shaft. You can actually do this on just a Dremel or a rotary tool um, from Walmart. My favorite rotary tools are these cheap hyper tufts. I think this is the eight volt. I don't like the 12. The eight is really cool. And uh, yeah, so you don't need a fancy Fordham. You can do it on the uh, Hobo Freight stuff or the Walmart stuff. And um, the hard burrs that I'm gonna be using, these are just generics. Um, I got that from Cutting Edge Supply. And I got the one, the 80 grit um, from Johnson Brothers, maybe five or six years ago. And those are just super generic green foam diamond burrs. Not all generics are the same. Um, it really, when it comes to like burrs and like 30 packs and stuff, uh, the green foams seem to be a sure thing. I don't use the gold ones. Those aren't diamond. That's uh, something else like titanium or whatever. And Anyway. Yeah. One more thing. Um, my watering supply is absolutely the least fanciest thing you can get. Um, it's a two and a half gallon drinking water container that I just have over the hood of my Genie. 
pull it out just a bit to determine how much water I need. I use this for my flat laps uh, and I use it for drilling, but it has a hole in it <laughs> and the speed of that drip's pretty good for me. Um, yeah, so this is a super easy watering solution for those of you folks that don't want to set up some kind of flexible watering pump or some kind of drip bucket with some kind of metal around the wire so you can adjust where you want it. Um, because with contour carving, for the most part, at least everybody I've ever seen, you have the water drip on the stone and you don't really submerge it. see we got rid of the brown um yeah and some cool greens and teals were under there and you can just keep going all over there's i mean there's too much but there's not too little at the end of the day it is an agate it'll shine up it'll look pretty but <laughs> don't be afraid to chase it down especially on these affordable pieces um yeah, I just try not to leave too much of a mess. I can actually clean that up a little bit with the 240 grit burr. Um, if I wanted, I could actually chase the color um, underneath all this calcine here, but it's not that big of a deal. Um, yeah. Looks good under there. Got the lids sorted out. Red is coarse. I'll just show you guys this. The red is so strong that it'll actually gouge the agate by itself. And it is diamond impregnated. I actually found where it says that it's diamond on the packaging. I'll show you real quick. Yeah. Rubber diamond polisher. Anyway, uh, yeah, check this out. Just do the tip. Really aggressive. So we're going to skip this one. I think I remember Sweet Jim saying that he skipped a couple. Like the first two. Uh, we're going to try the second one. I just know that if you leave... I mean, if you... Um... Oh, is it still sealed? Yeah, looks like... <laughs> Ruby's only... Yeah, he hasn't even opened it yet. Which ones have Ruby been using? He's been skipping two the whole time. I remember using these at Jim's house, and if it... Uh... You know, it's easy to get a bunch of facets all over the stone, even though you get a polish if you use, uh, if they're too aggressive. So, take a quick look with my naked eye here.
let's see. Just from looking at it, it kind of looks like 400. Yeah, roughly 400 grit. You can see the lines up and down. Uh, and yeah, I removed all of the 80 grit scratches. Now I just have to be really good with the um, other burrs to remove those scratches so I don't have those lines at the end of my piece. Because the shine is cool, right? But we want it to, to look good too. Alright, so that, that drip was nice. I kind of want a little bit more from these. So just like the 280 grit wheel, um, this one kind of has the, uh, this uh, <clears throat> burr has the biggest load of removing those 80 grit scratches, well then 240 grit scratches. It looks like I did it. There's a little bit of a couple more of those 240s. So I'm gonna I'm just gonna run that by really quick before we switch burrs. I love that big puff of saginite up there. Oh, okay, and so again, this is definitely not, uh, you know, I'm not a professional, but this is a way to do it affordably. It works, and this is so much fun. <laughs> Having a blast. Oh, let's go to three, which is medium, medium, coarseness <clears throat> so nobody like told sweet jim about easy dent he was just buying everything good and bad um he was really passionate about carving and um yeah he was into high-end stuff like dia shine but also always hunting down the more affordable stuff or pieces that weren't as good uh, we actually even talked to dia shine when he was around to see if they wanted to like sponsor the channel and with Sweet Jim teaching carving lessons. They weren't really interested in that, um, but they did offer us a bunch of burrs or whatever we wanted in a product code and stuff, and that was really cool. Never followed through with that, especially after Sweet Jim passed away, but uh, big shout out to Daya Shine. Um, they're not just making a product. Uh, they, they live their product, and they love their product, and they like hearing from Joe Schmoes like me and Jim. All right. So, yeah, medium coarseness. There's a video, I probably already talked about it, I don't remember when I talked about it, yeah, I mean, so far, but, where Sweet Jim polishes a piece in like two or four minutes, I don't remember 
two to four minutes. Using AZ Dent. Sprite would be uh, really good at uh, contour carving. You can see he has that patience and he's a bit of a perfectionist. It seemed like the blue burr was about 400 grit. I wonder what this one's looking like. Definitely closer to six, like it's got a gloss, it's not wet or anything, but you could see here where I'm like gouging the piece from not being steady enough. And it's kind of starting to get like a very orange peel style to it. Uh, just like warbly because I'm not really being steady enough I'm kind of rushing but just kind of go over it again and go the opposite direction try to go slower definitely put a lot less pressure just let the weight of the tool do the work better but we're just gonna keep moving on it's something that's gonna take practice for me and uh you know <clears throat> i don't know anybody who's carving like really high-end fire agates that are really professionally done in you know 10-15 minutes so i need to practice and not worry about how fast I'm going, but it is kind of fun to show how fast these work. Like, um, yeah, these work very, very fast. All right, this is the uh, fourth mesh.
What's up, buddy? All right, so this piece dry is looking like, I don't know, like 3,000 grit probably, 1,200. This is dry, this is not wet. Again, the texture just comes from me not being very good at using a um, flex shaft. But it is leaving a good shine. And this is just a pre-polish. So, yeah, instead of just chasing out all the little things, we're going to move on to the last burr. something that's sold that needs to go out in the uh, post office tomorrow. So I think that's it. Uh, it looks like a little bit better than 3000 grit and it's just pre-polish. Some tool marks, orange peel and such that you'll get better at just from using the tool. But we dug out that dirty spot and we got it roughly shiny and now we're going to shine it up even more. Sweet Jim used to use Diamond Pacific Super Polish on nylon bristles. And they no longer make Diamond Pacific Super Polish. I know one person that sells, uh, has like four of these jars, they're 25 bucks each. Um, so I'm not going to use them. I'm going to use uh, cerium on one of these felts to 
see how that works out just to give it a shot but um yeah i'm sure there's a dozen different things you can put on there um you know different polishes and stuff i don't i'm not really i don't really know the uh the burr world very well i do know what polishes agates though some cereums put some cereums on that well, that should be enough <clears throat> and for anybody wondering I have not seen any AZ dent burrs in like different shapes that are not discs like bullets would be great um, I think well that's not true I've seen like flat cylinders not these pointy discs from az dent but it was a three burr set instead of five i think i remember sweet jim saying that he used them and it worked pretty good uh but he preferred the five burr setup so he could control the stuff a little bit better and then there was like um maybe some like cylinders but not bullets anyway I'm going to give this a shot. Make sure to wear eye protection because uh, especially if you have a one direction Dremel, it kind of feels like it's just going straight into your face. So yeah, like, like, like that. <laughs> just right in your eyes. So I've never done this before. I don't know if this is working at all. So it looks like, well, go figure. That spot there looks like it's where it flung off and hit my diamond burr. I mean, my diamond wheel kind of cracked it. Um fractured it rather I mean go figure I don't really see a difference between the spot I was hitting with cerium and the spot I didn't but anyway that is easy dent burrs find out your own polish um yeah I don't know I'm not a contour carver but I hope this inspired you folks It's a lot of fun. And that sucks. Yeah, it just like flew off. I think you guys could hear it. I was like, ting! <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna cab up this little $4 piece. This is nowhere near the best of the $4 pieces. But I like the little bots and the Saginetic sprays with color. The uh, contour carved piece we did didn't have any color on the saginite, but uh, it was still pretty fun to work with. This one, some of the hairs are fiery. Let's see if we can get that a little bit more color, but good shape is what we're after. So I'm taking this piece, I'm like, oh, I'll make a pendant, drill through the side. There's a ton of rhyolite, and I'm working the back, and the back's looking killer. Definitely some more uh, 
sagenetic hairs and a lot more fire and bots on the back than the face. So I don't know what to do. I think I might just end up working this side. It looks so much better. Uh, you know, we'll, we'll shine up the whole thing. And uh, I guess it'll be a two-sided pendant. I'm not going to chase any color. I uh, just kind of like what's going on there. Not bad for $4. I mean, that's what I love about this stuff. Four bucks right into a $60 piece. If it survives. If it doesn't fly out of my hand and break on the ground or hit against the wheel and snap. Like uh, my luck has it, but... Totally awesome. And there was no way to tell uh, that it was underneath all that rhyolite. So this would have been the face. Definitely lovely. But the back. Ooh, all right, time to drill. Gonna go through the side. Could ruin everything, but I think we'll be fine.
All right, so yeah, 10 different types this time around. Um, might go live from Denver and Tucson uh, coming up. But um, yeah, I have 10 different types. Pieces starting off at about $4 um, and upwards of about 40. So price point for everybody. If you don't want to join the live sales, you can just reach out to me and say, hey, Dave, uh, can you get me 50 bucks worth, 100 bucks worth, and um, some ideas of the variations that you might like. I think we have like $4, um, then the second tier is 10, 12, 14, uh, 15, 20, and some between 20 and 40. So anyway we're gonna take a look at some now uh you kind of need good natural lighting to see these best when they're um rough and you wet them but i'll put prices on uh roughly what they will be being sold for down below and try to keep them uh, the pieces i show off around that same price point with each other at least the same bins some of these unfortunately are mixed like uh this bin here has pieces that are between um, 14 and $30. And sometimes these get like broken. And so like, let's say a $30 piece is now worth, you know, 10. Well, um, yeah, Mr. Guzman's a good friend of mine and I know the material well, so I can make those executive decisions to sell them for a little bit less if we have to. Anyway, uh, yeah. So just reach out to me. Um, contact information is down in the description section below if you don't already have my phone number. And uh, yeah, we'll be doing a live sale maybe as soon as like, I don't know, Sunday maybe? I don't want to do it today. <laughs> maybe tomorrow? I don't know. I haven't been live in a long time. Don't even know how I feel about it anymore. But uh, yeah. This material is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. And it's mine direct. Can't beat that. Thank you. 
This one is absolutely incredible. Good for a cabber or a carver. This one's a good cabber. Yeah, this one's like super mixed, unfortunately. So we gotta go through it, which is, I mean, fine, I do it anyway, but. Like, they're just two starkly different grades in here. That is a great one. It's super chocolatey. That's what you want, that's where the color bars hang out. <clears throat> if you haven't watched the Sweet Jim stuff, watch it, he talks about ghost fire. Like, let's say something like this, where the chocolatey, where the uh, matrix isn't as dark. And it can be colorful, but those are usually the last color layers, so you can't pull anything out. Or something like this, like you wanted those greens, you could actually take it down to the color layers and work out different colors. <laughs> this one's droopy. Everything's at the tip, but uh, yeah, this bin is, is a good one. Lots of great stuff, and then just some like misfits that probably came from other bin, other bins. Uh, it's not my place to um, step in the way of the Guzman's grading but when something is obvious, like like this guy right here. And the stuff in here was sent to me labeled between about $12, fourteen to thirty dollars. Like this is just obviously not it. Like to me, this is a good six dollar piece, and it's got a fun little tip right there. And uh, we could let that happen, but we, uh, some of these, you know, some things. It's like this one. I would think that this is probably a seven dollar piece to me. <clears throat> But it's not my place to say that it's not, and it's obviously not broken, so. We just work around those, gladly give back everything that we don't agree with to the Goosebumps. And really, things get mixed up. One time I asked him, I was looking through a bin, and I'm like, dude, how much for that? It was obviously a $150 piece of rough in like the three, $4 bin. And he's like, oh, for you, brother, just, it's okay, you can have it, Someone, somebody moved it there. I'm like, no way, no way. <laughs> I didn't, I, would, I wasn't gonna accept that kindness. Uh, things get moved and this bin could just be a bin of people putting aside stuff to hold or uh, I'm never coming back or um, just things happen, you know, who knows, but I think look at that one right yeah, This is a weird bin, but oh God, yeah. Like that right there, that is not worth $30. That to me, and it's polished, right? Yeah, that polished, and the rest of these are rough. So, or, yeah, most of them are rough. That's that's probably worth a good 55 bucks. It's a bloody galaxy. Super tight little bots, super wide bots. And just it's a cabber. You don't want to go any further. Even though it's already rubbed, I would take, I would do it again. I would start on like, oh, maybe just 280. I need to get a specialty wheel. I need a 600 hard, hard wheel. Like a good 400 or something. Just for like opals and skinning, like stuff like this. But this is a absolutely incredible piece. This is a great man.
you know, like that one to me that's a good that's a good like four dollar one five dollar one not my place to say because it's not obvious uh where like let's say like like this right here this probably broke off of something like that's just not fourteen dollars and there would be no uh, you know what i call 14 and what mr Quee's one calls 14. i think that one that last one was just like something that happened uh same thing with this this is obviously just a uh, broke off of something even though it has those desirable colors um i think it came off of a bigger piece so. There's just tons of just goodness in here. That's an interesting one. Some long, nice, colorful Saginetics sprays, but then just mostly purple. Little bubbles going up the side and a cool... Just goes into some Saginite that's not colored. Anyway, great bin. All right, these ones are 25 to $40. And there's definitely some pieces in here worth a lot more than that. My job is to find you the best ones. Uh, at least when we're doing the lives. That's, that's a great one. But, uh, maybe 30. Super saturated, lots of agate to, to go down in there. Actually, this one's just all agate, no rhyolite. That's a good, like, $30 one. Actually, well, retail, like, 70 bucks. It's like, that. that is just off the chain. Face that, get into shape, like, that is easily, easily $70. That's a killer one. Yeah, this one, like if you spent, you know, 30 bucks on it, it's not a ripoff, but it's better for the money. This one's cool. That is just dark, 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 dark. Cal said me there. Good twenty-five dollar one. That one's cool. Nice long colors. It's like a dragon head. This one, if you carved, you'd probably start off by digging out that dark calcetti in the middle. And then it would be like a outwardly dished piece. Oh, wow. That's a great one. This one's really good, but it's a lot of ghost fire. So what you see is what you get. You're not gonna be able to like pull out very uh, much other, many other colors.
This one would be a really good like entry level carver. Uh, you can't, you wouldn't really want to flatten it out, but just working just the slight angles by hand is really cool. I like that like pitchfork of saginite right there. It's a great show of color, pretty dark. A little bit of ghost fire on this side, so like I said, I would probably just just take this to like 240 on the top then polish it with uh, by hand it's not a bad one at all This one's like extraterrestrial. <laughs> Intense. Gosh, I love this stuff. This stuff is such a gentle energy for me too. Like, I don't wear a lot of jewelry, but I do enjoy fire, uh, Mexican fire agates. That one is a great caber or carver. Weird, long colors. I don't like using the word color bar for um, fire agates. I don't think it's very, an appropriate way to describe what's going on. Oh, here's a cool one. This one's a great, another great entry level uh, carver. Just don't want to flatten it out. Just smooth it all out with your rotary tool and then polish it keep what you get on the outside there is go the ghost fire starts about right there so what you see over here is what you get get it to glow leave those two little things there i think it'd be a great pendant So this bin here, um, the $4 bag and the $10 bag broke in shipping and they kind of got blended together, but it's very obvious when you see the two different grades. You know the 10s, when you see the 10s, you know the 4s, when you see the 4s. So like, like that one there, let me zoom in a little bit. That one, obviously a $10 carver. And, you know, something like that is a $4 caber. Somebody asked me, you know, how is he graded? It's, you know, it's not size. And it's only size when it's really big. Like, this is a great, great $4 caber. Um, you know, you cab that. You get a $25 stone. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Uh, yeah, it's color. There's more desirable colors than others. I don't... I could sit here for two hours telling you what I think, but... Um, there's a lot of great videos out there. But So it's like more desirable colors. Um, the brightness of the pattern. The... the um, it being not fractured. And, you know... Uh, just kind of just the basic grading of gemstones, right? Like, it's, it's kind of obvious. Here's a great dollar for, great uh, four dollar one with some cool teals and purples. Some real chocolatey one right here. This would be fun to practice carving on. You can actually see the layers right there. Those are the color layers.
Here's a cool four dollar one. Not so much color, that's on the surface. You could peel back this red here. He's got a fracture right down the face. Don't know how far that goes. Uh, it looks like it goes all the way. But really, that's where the money is. Just that cabochon right there, about the size of a nickel. Uh, yeah, that's, that's a good way to definitely make your money back. Several times. All right, let's find some bangers in the affordable bin. Oh, my spray bottle failed on me. Gosh, it's just spilling everywhere. That's a cool one. That one's a cool mystery one. All that darkness in there are just spots of color just hiding in the middle of this calcite. This is all ghost fire, but it's right in your face. For four bucks, caber. You can't really carve this one. Where this one you absolutely can carve. That's a good one. This one's uh, smaller, but really rich for four bucks. And I think um, <clears throat> I'll split my profit. Like on these, I might be making like two dollars on like the ten dollar ones. Um, yeah, so like maybe we'll do like bundles of ten for like thirty bucks to get some things moving and so we're not just hanging over these bins all day like that that one this one right here is absolutely great for four bucks it's an entry-level carver Another great entry level carver. Right. These are bin of 20s. These are already polished. Um, but don't th don't let that discourage you from like recutting them and recarving them because they're really like just kind of like a basic polish, which is why I'm wetting them to show off the color more. Let me dry this off so you can see. Like that's good, but uh, you could get it like four or five stages further. This one would be an incredible entry level carver. 
just everything's right in front of you, what you need to do. That's a killer $20 piece. This one's pretty much all ghost fire, but it's beautiful. A great specimen. Uh, maybe if you're a rapper, you could find something to do with it, but it's it's more of a specimen to me. Just all purple and brown. It's a great recutter right there. This one's all ghost fire, but really cool. Somebody's cat hair, not mine. <laughs> I know pancakes here. pieces. That's a cool one. I love how like you look in and down into the calcetti, into the the pool of fire. It's a small but brilliant one for a carver. Pretty amazing one for the money. Super dark, super rich. Wouldn't want to cab it. It's a good cabber. A little gentle and simple one. This one's great for the money. Absolutely great. Can 
actually cut this one to make two stones. Gotta cut that off if you wanted. More I'll carve it. from the spray bottle. This one's cool. It'll be a, a longer cab. Put out great dark darkness. Cutting it down, bring it out. Definitely some cool purples and green. Here's a cool reverse one. not my cup of tea. <clears throat> it's a small and mighty one. No quarter sized. Anyway folks, uh, it'll be fun. And we're gonna show off everyone we sell. There'll be no surprises. What you see is what you're gonna get, which is fine. Uh, I think the best way to do it, it's like either I pick them out, I say what it's worth, and people claim it, or like I serve one person at a time, and they're like, hey, David, let me get, you know, five of the fours, or, you know, ten of the fours for the break, and uh, two tens, and a, a 20, and a 40, you know, and we just serve one person at a time. That kind of takes forever, but I feel like I can just help people better that way. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I haven't done lives in a while. I haven't thought about doing lives in a while. But um, I'm only having this until September. And then it's all going back to Mr. Goosebun in Denver. And it's just an honor and a pleasure to even be sitting here with this material, this much material. <laughs> this one's literally nothing. This one just, there's agate connected to here and it popped off somewhere. Like, this one is literally not even a piece. <laughs> this one's a great carver. Just get through the mud and stuff. Some cool lighter greens and teals. Let me find one more cabard before we go. Then I'm like, okay, this one's worth, all right, this one's worth much more than the money. Love the Saturday Night Rain in the middle. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Uh, maybe this Sunday, obviously going to post about it before I just jump in and we start doing it. Um, I want to give away free shipping. I'm thinking over 25 bucks free shipping. Um, yeah. I just got to be able to cover the shipping with uh, the money I make, which isn't much. So, uh, it's 550. Maybe we have to do like 
forty dollars to where I don't, you know, I'd rather. I don't mind not making anything, but I don't want to pay out of pocket for shipping. So maybe like forty dollars free shipping or something. We'll figure it out. Um, yeah, join us. Even if you can't, you can't get anything. It's always fun to just have people around. I haven't worked on YouTube in forever. I've been like putzing around on TikTok. I cut this last night on TikTok. Sweet little Laguna. Flat cab. I've been flat cab crazy. Yeah, I've been selling to a couple of jewelers here in New Mexico and they're like, David, give me all the flat cabs. They're designer and they're sexy and they really like them. And then I cut some of this uh, Jeremy Berg Widowmaker. I got in Ventura <clears throat> last night, which is pretty cool. Don't like the name so much, Widowmaker. But uh, yeah, it comes out real cool purple and red and takes a great polish almost like sleep blue got a new acetylene tank uh yeah all my silver stuff's here so nothing's keeping me from putting that into some jewelry and then setting it into some jewelry i just gotta just do it be inspired all right yeah and yeah, we only looked at a couple of the things so we've got a bunch join us anything learn something or educate us <laughs> let us know love you guys take it easy